Today we're opening an entire case of Speed Duel GX. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today, as I said, we're opening 12, well, technically 11, because this one right here will be given away to you guys. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about Speed Duel in general and the Speed Duel Academy box, aka the newest Speed Duel product, which they do once per year. Yeah, it's a weird product. They only update Speed Duel once per year. It's insane. So inside you get a bunch of different decks, which is gonna like completely change the format that they've been playing for like a year, I guess, since the last one. Here is the original, the Speed Duel Battle City box. So I think this was the last release for Speed Duel a year ago, which is, if you think about it, is insane. So like this format's gotta be getting kind of stale. So now that this one is, you know, old news, there is the GX Speed Duel, which comes with not only structure decks and like, you know, known cards, it also has a randomized feature where you can pull some secret rare cards like destiny hero dasher which is his first high rarity besides the ultimate rare so there's a lot of cool randomized stuff that we're going to be searching for today and checking out those decks inside okay let's open this thing up and see what's inside so actually those other ones that i showed you the battle city box are up to like 70 dollars each so these tend to be kind of decent to hold on to because if they're the only product you can really get for speed duel eventually you know they sell out and then people are like okay i kind of need these so inside you get here are our promos we're going to open that up soon they're really cool because you can actually use these in in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! It doesn't have to be Speed Duel. They're just really nice secret rare upgrades and stuff like that. In here is a bunch of play mats, it seems like. I've never actually opened one of these. I didn't open the Battle City one. And then all the decks. So how many is it? Is it? It's only four decks? No, it's eight decks, I think. So I think there may be two each inside of these. Okay, so let's check these out before we get into the randomized cards. We're only going to check out the decks once, and then we're going to get through all the randomized cards for 11 different boxes, because I think that's the most exciting part. Okay, the first two decks, I believe. This looks like a Cyber Dragon deck, which makes sense with Zane. So I guess this might be a Zane deck, Proto Cyber Dragon. Dragon, Cyber Phoenix, Cyber Darks, yeah, definitely Zane, Exploder Dragon, Polymerization, so whatever this is called, Speed Duel, not Duel Links, is basically Duel Links, but for the TCG version, it's like not TCG though, it's its own thing, it's called Speed Duel, so everything is way behind like current, like it's more like old school, it's definitely not as, you know, it's crazy. So if you're more of like an old school player, this might appeal to you and might be something that you want to try because it does the three whole zones things and it's, it doesn't get crazy. You're not synchro summoning and all this crazy stuff. I don't think, I don't think they have synchros yet. And then you have these cool, this is one of the coolest parts is like the skills that you get and it gives you an ability to do something like this one says, once per duel, you can activate this skill at the start of your battle phase while you control exactly one element. So hero and no other monsters for us this turn. That monster gains 100 attack while battling an opponent's monster and can attack all monsters your opponent controls. So that is something that doesn't exist. It's basically basically like a free equip card or something like that that you get as a skill so it's always really cool look at tons of skills right away is this all the skills this is supposed to be all the skills for all the decks so there's all the different skills that you can use they're always really like fun and just change up how a deck even works in general okay next we have the Jaden deck which is flame wingman thunder giant rampart blaster steam healer dark bright plasma vice dragoon so yeah obviously a hero Jaden deck which is really cool ojamas are in here which is fun so wait I'm confused, because, like, the, here's Cyberdarks again, so I don't know, how are these mixed up? I don't understand. Don Zalug, Gyroid, are these supposed to be, like, straight-up decks, or are these... Because, like, some of this is for, like, Crowler stuff, and some of it's for Jaden. I don't understand. This is really weird. So, okay, so on the back it says there is a character, and then there's all these different character decks. But for some reason, they're not, like, grouped together. I don't understand this. If you're a Speed Duel enthusiast and you open the last one, you understand why it's like this, let me know. Okay, so it's taking forever to open these things. These are very difficult. So we've got more Jaden stuff. Okay. See, it just seems like they're mixed up. Wing Karibo, that's Jaden for sure. Okay, these are all definitely Jaden. Maybe the other one was not Jaden. I don't know, but why were all those fusions in there? I don't understand. There's Destiny Heroes. This is Astro Phoenix. There's a Dasher Common, which is nice. I think there's a secret rare version in those uh, special packs, potentially. Malicious is good in here as a Common. Okay, that's not bad. Some pretty good options in here. The Arm Dragon stuff. Okay, Arm Dragons. Yeah, Ojamas. Okay, very cool. There's more. See, there's Chad stuff in here. So I don't know. <laughs> there's three different people in there. I don't understand like what the order is. Okay, so there's those. And then the final one here. Okay, now the final one. Mech Chaser, Giant Rat. Ancient Gear. See, look, we've seen Crowler stuff already. There's no way that we have it. I'm so confused. Double Cycle. A lot of, like, really cool stuff that was good in Duel Link. So it makes sense that this stuff is coming out into Speed Duel. Cyber Gymnast. These are for, uh, what's her name? Um, what's, what's, the, what's the chick's name with Cyber Angels? I don't remember. I don't remember what her name is. I forgot, to be honest. Hey, it's like a, a, a Lexus. Alexis. There we go. I got it. Okay. 
Crystal Tree, those are all for Jesse Anderson. So those are all like the different cards you can get out of there. Now let's get into the actual exciting part, which is these. I'm going to open up all the packs. So we've got 11 different like foily packs of secret rares and let's get into it okay i opened them all up we have 11 different foil packs they're all secret rares a lot of cool promos in here i don't know everything that you can get it shows the first card but i think there's like five ish per pack this is the part i was really excited about so first we have a floodgate which is probably very good in speed duel because it was very good in duel links and still kind of is not that anyone plays duel links anymore back when they did so here we go we have a floodgate trap old nice elemental hero flame wingman man these secret rares look really good if you guys can check out that secret rare foiling that's awesome volcanic rocket i know those volcanic people are going to be super happy about this because there's been no new support and no real upgrade so that's a nice secret rare version sphere karibo this is a nice upgrade of the original i think ultra rare in the first pack ever of speed duel so that's a cool version there's more than five cards in here wing karibo this is a nice card cyber dragon whoa that looks good whoa that almost is that that almost is as good as that tin version that is a really amazing okay donzalu that's a cool upgrade for like uh people playing in maybe goat format and stuff like that and a destiny hero plasma so if you are using the uh this in your uh destroy phoenix enforcer engine then there you go there's a secret rare version even though it already had a secret rare but that's a cheaper version so here we go to the next one dd warrior lady this is another nice upgrade because i think the high rarity version is like a super or something or maybe it's the hobby league version so yeah this is definitely a good one we got a cyber dragon again that's beautiful beautiful arm dragon level seven whoa that is awesome okay so some of these are not very useful like overall but they're just really pretty versions of old cards ancient gear golem rainbow dragon so this does have a secret rare from tactical evolution but this is just a much cheaper version so that's always nice hydro get on probably actually decent in speed duel because you know he just gets to recruit from the deck polymerization i didn't realize how expensive secret rare polymerizations were so this is definitely going to help that price because it was like 15 bucks for the uh legendary collection yugi's world i think and then cyber blader what a weird weird card okay it's cool to open all these secret rares in the same pack there's a polymerization okay another one I think there's like, what is it, seven cards or so? Maybe nine? Polymerization, that's beautiful. Dokoichi, the Battle Enchanted Locomotive. Don't forget, if you guys want to win a sealed one of these, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and let me know what you think about them. Don Zalug, Dokoichi Seeker is actually super nice. DD Warrior Lady again. I wonder how many different ones there are. Cyber and Dragon. Oh boy, that's nice. Destiny Hero Dasher, here we go. This is a huge upgrade because the rare version before this came out in the super rare from OTS pack was $20 from POTD. That's insane. The Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus and the Floodgate Trapple. So we did see a couple of new cards that time. I think by the time we open all these, we'll probably have seen all the versions. Book of Moon. <laughs> Book of Moon has 100 prints, which I guess it needed one. In it already had one in Speed Duel, but it was like really expensive. It was like a prize version. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Uh, do people use that in Speed Duel? I guess they do. Floodgate. We got a play set of those. The Sphere Karibo. Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Ancient Gig Golem. Destiny Hero Plasma. And the Ojama King. There he is, the Ojama King. These were actually really annoying in Duel Links. Because if you get this guy out, there's only three spaces. He covers all the spaces if they have no monsters on the field and they can no longer summon. So it's very difficult to deal with if you just don't have straight up removal. Okay. Ojama King. Let's see what we got next. These uh these little things just stick to your hand. It's crazy. Okay, that time it didn't, so uh, it kind of ruined there. Arm Dragon Level 7. Ojama King back at it again. The Winged Koribo. Rainbow Dragoon. Hydro Get On. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. The Volcanic Doomfire. There it is. Another Volcanic card, which is nice. And another Dasher. So, man, that's a pretty version, too. So, that's looking good. Okay, we've still got, like, six more. Okay. Very nice. Here, we've got the ancient, the ultimate pound. No, the ultimate ancient gear golem. There's an ultimate pound, too. That's a different card. These are the kind of wrapping that, like, it's so easy to rip that it's hard to open. All right. We have another ancient gear golem. We got a doomfire. Another regular ancient gear golem. Destiny hero plasma. Volcanic rocket. Polymerization. Very nice. Rainbow dragon. Destiny hero dasher. Nice. That's a play set of those. Not that you'd be using three because you only use one per deck basically because of the destroyer phoenix enforcer, but still cool to have three of those. Next up, we have the cyber and dragon. It seems like we might've pulled all the cards already. Book of moon. We got the crystal beast hydro get on. We'll see if there's a special one. Don Zalug, sphere Karibo, ultimate ancient gear golem and the winged Karibo. I think, well, you're not really supposed to open up case of these probably because you really only need like three at the max, I guess. 
Because there's multiple copies of some cards, but maybe if you want to play a set of every card, you would buy three. I don't know. The secret rares are the randomized part, but the rest of it is consistent. Apprentice Magician might only be our second one. Cyber Blader. Dekoichi, I think, is our second one. Cyber and Dragon. Polymerization. We have a lot of those. Ancient Year Golem. We have a lot of those. Sapphire Pegasus. And the Destiny Hero Plasma. All right. Now the, the plastic is sticking to my arm right now. It is literally sticking to my arm while I'm opening these. Okay. All right. It's just going to hang out over there. That's fine. That's fine. We got a plasma, we got an arm dragon level 7, a winged Karibo, the DD warrior lady, ancient gear golem. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about a format that updates once a year? I think it's really weird, polymerization and cyber and dragon. It feels wrong, like, I can't believe that people are still playing it, to be honest. Like, imagine playing something and then it never having a new update for an entire year. I don't know, it just seems odd to me. I mean, maybe they'll bring it back and, I mean, they, these are really cool products. I just think they need something else throughout the year. Volcanic Rocket, Cyber Blader, Elmatura, Flame Wing Man, and maybe actually talk about it every once in a while. I have no idea that it's going on most of the time. Prentice Magician, Cyber Dragon, Cyber and Dragon, and Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. We keep pulling that guy. Final pack. This is a strange product. I think it's a very cool product. Uh, it's just strange. No, Speed Duel is strange. Let's just... How about that? Yeah, because this is not a, it's not a weird product. It's a very cool product because, one, it gives you some guaranteed cards, and then it has some randomized nice upgrades for TCG or Speed Duel. But then there's the weird fart that it doesn't, uh, did I just say weird fart? The weird part that it doesn't update all year. So we've got the Arm Dragon Level 7, Volcanic Rocket, Elemental Flame Wingman, Sphere Karibo, Apprentice Magician, and finally... Another Dasher, we'll take that. Okay, so we ended up with a... This is how many secret rares I just got. That's a lot of secret rares. So a pretty cool opening. Just a weird situation with Speed Duel. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know. I don't know a lot of people playing Speed Duel. I personally would be interested in playing it. Problem is, I just don't know anybody playing it. I think maybe if it got a few more updates, people would get more interested and stuff like that. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to TCG, Trust Card, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, E. Moose, Junior Barding, Anana Tai Show, JT Cho, and Anima of the Hallowed. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.